Hi friends, welcome back to my reading nook. In today's video, I am going to be doing the anti-TBR tag. Uh, disclaimer before I get started, if there are books that I mentioned that I didn't enjoy, that you really enjoyed, please don't take offense. Um, this is just my opinion and, you know, no books aren't for everyone. And um, so if you see one in here that, um, you really loved and I didn't, then, um, you know, that's just the way it is and don't take offense to it. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get started. The first question is a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. And for this one, I'm going to go with Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, it just, I don't know, the, the synopsis just doesn't make it sound appealing to me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an unpopular opinion, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It doesn't sound like something that would interest me, and so I just haven't picked it up, and I don't think I'm going to. The next uh, prompt is a classic book or author you don't have any interest in reading. And for this one, I'm going to go with C.S. Lewis. I was not a fan of his um, Narnia series, and I've never been a fan of any of his books. Um, and so, yeah, I haven't watched the movies. Um, yeah, they just don't appeal to me. The next one is an author whose books you have no interest in, in reading or a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. And for this one, I'm going to go with A.J. Finn. Um, there has been a lot of controver controversy around A.J. Finn um, recently. Um, you can Google it. Um, Google A.J. Finn and, and it will all come up. Um, I did try and read his... Um, woman in the window uh book and it was just too long for me it dragged um i think you guys all know that i don't like long books and so it just wasn't for me and um it turns out that i may have dodged um dodged a bullet with that one because um it sounds like he is not a very very good or reputable author and there's been yeah a lot of drama and stuff with him and so that's who I'm gonna go with for that one. The next one is an author you have read a couple of books from and decided their books are not for you and for this one I'm gonna go with Brett, Britt Bennett. Uh, this is also probably an unpopular opinion but I DNF'd The Mothers um, and I only gave The Vanishing Half I think three stars. Um, they just weren't that um, that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They didn't grab me. They didn't, um, live up to the hype, I guess, um, that I was seeing all over Bookstagram. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with that. The next one is a genre you have no interest in reading or... A genre you tried to get into but couldn't and for this one I'm gonna go with horror because although I enjoy thrillers and suspense um, books horror is just not for me um, I can't even really watch suspense and thriller movies so horror is definitely out um, I just don't enjoy feeling scared and I just don't enjoy it um, so that's what I'm gonna go with for that one um, the next one is a book you have bought but will probably never read, and I couldn't think of one for that one. Um, I intend to read all of the books on my TBR, um, and if I end up DNFing one, then I, I end up DNFing it, but at least I gave it a try. So, um, I can't really think of one that, uh, is on my TBR that I wouldn't want to read. The next one is a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and DNF'd. And for this one, I'm going to go with the Nora Watts series by Sheena Kamau. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, The Lost Ones. 
Um, but then I started to read her second book in that series and too much of the plot was repeating um, what happened in the first book and it took way too long to get into the story and I just ended up DNFing it and I don't plan to read um, the rest of the series because I can't go from one to three. Um, I mean, I could, but there'd be a chunk missing and, um, you know, it was, I was disappointed because like I said, the, the first one was really good. Um, but then the second one was a letdown. And the last one is a new release you have no interest in reading. And for this one, I'm going to go with Legacy by Nora Roberts. Um, I believe it comes out in May. And um, I've read one Nora Roberts book and I have a couple of her other books on my TBR. Um, but she's not my favorite author. Um, I didn't love the book that I read from her. Um, and I do want to give her other books a, um, a chance, but I don't have high hopes or high expectations. Um, and so that's a book I probably won't read. Well, friends, that's all for that tag. Um, I'm going to leave the questions down in the description box. So if you want to um, make your own video and answer the questions you can or if you want to leave me a comment and tell me your answers to these questions that would be great I would love to read them um, be sure to follow me on bookstagram at the insta bookworm uh, the link is in or the my handle is in the description box below and I will see you soon for another video bye friends